Almost five years ago now, I moved to Vancouver from the UK. And ever since I moved here, I've been looking for great places to shoot. Uh, if you're new to the city and you want to start somewhere, these are five great places to check out. Uh, and maybe you live here and you're looking for somewhere new to go. So hopefully there's something here for you. The five places I'll be showing you today are all around Stanley Park and False Creek. Now I'd highly recommend cycling. Whilst you can easily reach these places on foot or by car, Vancouver has miles of dedicated cycle paths and there's so much more you can take in by bike. First up, the Lionsgate Suspension Bridge. So behind me here is Prospect Point. This is one of the most well-known viewpoints in Stanley Park and the obvious place to come if you're visiting. And it is worth checking it out because the, the view of the bridge from there is really good. But in my opinion, it's worth spending just a little bit more time to walk up to the apex of the bridge here. Standing at this high viewpoint and looking back down into the park, you just get this amazing view of the seawall and the cycle path as it snakes its way around. If you come here at golden hour and you catch it in good light, then you really can get a special view from up here. If you did choose to cycle, a steep path behind Prospect Point Visitor Center will bring you back down to the seawall, where the one-way path takes you on a stunning route past Third Beach and the Lost Lagoon on the way to our second location, with plenty to see along the way. All around the Stanley Park seawall, you really are spoiled for choice. There's just not a bad place you can stop. This has become one of my favorite places though. It's just on the southeastern corner of the seawall and at low tide you can step down onto the shore. There's a really striking view of the city from here and also behind me is the nine o'clock gun. So if you fancy the challenge, you can try and capture that going off at nine o'clock every evening. Before you leave, take some time to explore here as throughout the summer you can see herons fishing and there are often seals in the shallow water. The cycle path that loops around the park is part of a longer route which connects us to Falls Creek, an inlet that separates downtown Vancouver from the rest of the city. It's here we'll find our next three locations, and our third stop is another historic bridge. If you're looking for a panoramic view of the city, this is a really good place to come. This is Granville Bridge looking down onto Granville Island Public Market. There's a really great view out to Barad Bridge here, out across Falls Creek and it's just an amazing place to come to watch the sunset. A great place to relax after the noise of the bridge is Habitat Island. For years I passed this place without knowing you could explore it. By following the cycle path around the eastern end of False Creek, you'll see the island after you loop back past Olympic Village. Hop over the rocks of a short causeway and you're free to explore a network of crisscrossing trails which lead to some unique views across the water. If you can make it here, I'd suggest waiting till twilight, come to the end of the island and look back across the water at the Science World Dome. There you can catch the sky change and you can watch some interesting reflections over the water. The final place I'll take you today is one of my favourite buildings in town. It's an Olympic village, which is really close to here. And it's also a great place to be as you go into that blue hour and the artificial light starts to come on. The historic salt building was built in 1930 on what was once the shoreline of False Creek. Around Olympic village, you can see remnants of Vancouver's industrial past alongside modern developments. To try and capture this old and new feeling here, I had this idea to play around with long exposures of car lights as traffic looped around the building. They serve good beer there, so it's a great place to finish and congratulate yourselves on a fine day of photography. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Vancouver. There are lots more places I'd like to share with you, so please subscribe and I'll be back very soon with five more hotspots. In my next video though, I will be talking about film and film cameras. Thanks for watching.